first I'm going to click on the shape tool and you can scroll through the list of shapes. I'm going to use the T bracket with the inner circles. And a diagram will appear on the right that shows that you can adjust the widths, heights, and diameters of the circles and more. And I'm going to change the width to 9 inches and then the diameter of the inner circle to 0.35 inches. Then you can change the edges, so I'm going to make the outer edge fill it and increase the size of it. And I'm going to change the inner edges to chamfer. Then you can scroll down to the insertion parameters and you can move where the object's located on the drawboard by using the insertion point X and Y tools. You can also change the pivot point to where you'd like it, so I'm going to change it to the center of the object, and then you can flip the object horizontally or vertically. You may also use the arrow tool to move the object along the drawboard. Then click the green check mark and you're ready to transfer it over to CAM, where it'll generate a toolpath. And then to CNC to make the G code, and now your bracket is ready to be cut out.